and all I can tell you is each was better than the other. We started last Friday when we had an outreach program, Seeks for Namo, with 200 plus members, representatives of the Sikh community, highly successful people in their own fields. You know, there is a popular uh, perception that Sikhs are only in agriculture or only in the armed forces or, you know, uh, they are uh, in one profession or the other. We were very fortunate to have Sikhs from a wide spectrum of profession. We had a very famous uh, singer, Daler Mendiji. We had a fashion icon, Shri JJ Valia Ji. We had very prominent industrialists. We had members of the academic community, two of the principals of the very well-known Delhi University colleges, Sri Ram College of Commerce, Dr. Simrit, President of Mata Sundari College Principal, again, uh, Dr. Harpreet, the President of the Governing Body, Chairman of the Governing Body of Miranda House, also uh, was here, Rajniji, plus businessman, industrialist, and all of them spoke about what the Prime Minister has done for the Sikh community. I mean, you know, everybody can reel off Kartarpur corridor, you know, the um, uh, uh, tax on langar, uh, the FCRA uh, uh, amendment, what has been done for the ropeways in different Gurdwara Sahib. But most important enough, also other humanitarian gestures, you know, bringing the Guru Granth Sahib from Sarup from Afghanistan, which I had the privilege of participating in. That was the first event. Resounding success. Yesterday, we had the chiefs of the armed forces, chief of army staff, chief of naval staff, chief of air staff, very senior officers, very senior civil servants, IAS, foreign service, revenue service, police commissioners, and all of them spoke. Again, very good turnout. All of them spoke about how transformational the Modi years had been. The 10 years, what are the differences which have transformations which have taken place and they were fulsome in their appreciation for the Honorable Prime Minister and the policy. Today was the final one which had, I don't know, I, we, I kept uh, looking at chairs but we had more than 300 people today. These are the entrepreneurs, the innovators, the ones who brought in technology. So there are unicorns here, present here. There are other startups here. There are people who have transform the way we think, who are into AI, chip manufacturing, foreign representatives, people who are involved with the industry, backup, financial support which goes to them. And you heard them sharing their experiences. But that is just an evening in progress. We've had to serve dinner now, it's 9.30, we started at 7 o'clock. And after this, there are selfie points, one outside, two inside where I would encourage everyone to come and share their experiences. And I think at the end of the day, we have to document it. Because what we have done in the last 10 years is one story. Many of them have come up with ideas for the next five years. One of the ideas, for instance, which came, which was not tech-specific, that you have to reduce the cost of capital. Also, that the amount of incentivization you have for R&D. Now, we are a $4 trillion economy. Our R&D is a expenditure of 0.7%. The second largest economy has an R&D of 2.5% on a $19 trillion economy. Then the largest uh, economy is $23 trillion. There it is over 3%. Now you must increase the R&D expenditure 10x by 10, 2030. Can that be done? Yes, it can be done and it will be done. That is the value of these because when we start our third term, and I have no doubt that it will be a Modi-led government, then much of the ideas which are incubated, articulated here, they can be then implemented in practice. Sir, there was also an ask on the Enforcement Agency Act. No, there, was a, there was a reference that there are, you know, uh, that is one of four or five things. That is true, but, that, but you know, when you explain to them that the Enforcement Directorate has to do its work, that is very well understood. Therefore, there's a passing reference to that. That's not a, a main issue. That tech world is, is, is thriving. Their profits, individuals are going up. That has nothing to do with the enforcement world. So what's the 
On, I've given you my observation. All the agencies will do their work, but by and large, people who have played clean by the system have had no problem. If there is an excess somewhere, we have to circumscribe it. You know, I don't think this is a... No, which I think the uh, honorary prime minister has already made a statement. So External affairs minister has made a statement. No, but no, but no, 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 no. I, I don't think it's anything. Uh, this is any relationship so with it. Let me ask you a question about the youth in India today. The problem that they are facing with buying real estate. You said we need more mature and better investment in. No, no, but youth, youth problem is not buying real estate. Real estate economy is booming. The youth, what they require is more encouragement and then when you create jobs you know when you build a four crore uh, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana there is employment generated if you do skilling they get in youth are not just seeking jobs they're also job generating so I think the two are not uh, I don't see what the relationship in buying real estate with youth is so one last question on, uh... the youth I mean you real estate the RERA has come into being we fought that we are cleaning up the previous mess. The market is booming and it will boom more in the coming years. So, what do you think of youth or youth since, you know, I mean, uh, you've had so many students uh, uh, out of the country. Uh, 39 such years. A, such a senior minister in the government. What do you view on, uh, on Asu Ajin concerns as far as stock market politics is concerned? Several other ministers have spoken. No, but you know, I, 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 would, I would tell you, it is, um, when you look at the stock market, it's a stock market which is booming. Okay. Yes. Now what you're looking at is a one week period. I mean the explanation there may be that you know when people are utilizing these markets, they're looking at where the Chinese market is going, some other market is going. But stand assured, I don't know where the stock market is, 70,000, where is it now? Um, what, what is the figure? It's, it's uh, between it's 22, about 22 and it's grown uh, you know, by leaps and bounds. No, and it's gone, but so wait till 4th June, then it will shoot up even so more. What is your message to the investors after June? After June 4th, I mean, in my message is India is where the action is now. And after June 4th, there will be even more enthusiasm about India. Thank you. 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 Thank you.